Last night was amazing. Yeah. I'd love some coffee. I think we could get that in our South African village. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what? Mm. We even have cell service because, you know, they built this tower last night. Oh, really? It kept me up all night. With the fake real trees? Yeah, that one. Awesome. Yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> got it. Ten voicemails for my sister. What's up? No. Hey. What the fuck? When? Okay. No, I'll be right there. What's going on? My father had a stroke. Morning, Good baby. Morning. <laughs> I just popped by to give you your vanilla soy latte. I know you need it. Oh my God, thank you. You are the best. Yeah. Come here. Mm. Mm. So you want to come in or what are you doing today? No, I have to run. I have to go to work. I have an in-studio photo shoot for some print ads. Then I actually have to go meet up with Gina. So her father had a stroke last night and Jamie called me this morning. Oh my God. Uh, is he going to be okay? Have you talked to her? Mm -mm, not yet. So, well, I'm sure she needs a friend right now. You okay with that? Of course. I, I know she's your past, but I'm your here and now. Okay? Right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> okay, meet me for dinner? Absolutely. Okay. Bye. Bye. So is he okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? So what the hell happened? It, it just happened so fast. Fast? What, you were there? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he called, so I, 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 I went over. Why? What do you mean, why? He just, he just called. I... What, do you mean, what do I mean? Why did he call? He doesn't just call. No, and the important thing is that he's all right. Exactly. Okay, so how long is he going to be in the hospital? They don't know. He, he can't get around very well, but he can talk. Oh, yeah, of course. Nothing could shut up that mouth, could it? <sighs> I was at the hospital all night till Aunt Jane got there. Are you going to visit him in the hospital? <laughs> Trust me, that's not what he wants. <clears throat> Here's the situation. Uh, he needs round-the-clock care until he recuperates. Oh, I can't do it. No, you can't do it. You've got your movie. Well, can you imagine that anyway? No. No, I can't. What about a rehab facility? Um, what about a round-the-clock nurse? You know, uh, that way, he, I think he would recuperate faster in his own home, and you guys could stop by for moral support. You don't know our father, Sammy. Yeah, he'd rather hang out in a gay bar. Yeah, there's nothing healing about the three of us being together, trust me. Not so much. But I like the idea about the round-the-clock nurse, right? Yeah. Good. Good. You, you, you know, I, I want to help you guys with, with anything I can. This is tough. I know it is. Um, I'm going to go down to the beach, but uh, I'm, I'm going to make some calls the minute I get to the clinic, and I'll let you know what I dig up, okay? If you need anything. I know where to find you. You are the best. I mean that. What are you not telling me?
a rehab facility. Wouldn't he be better off at home, surrounded by his medals and flags and things and family? Oh, no, 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 I can't possibly, can I? This is my busiest time. Mercury's in retrograde and my biorhythms are on overload. Oh, I know, when John shoot us out of the room last night, he even hooked up to all that shit, he's still in charge. Uh, listen, Van's coming home and he's hoping to work things out with Owen. Oh, I know. <laughs> no, you tell them. Oh, okay, sweetheart, sweetheart. It's not nice to call your aunt a fucktard. No, that's not nice. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll talk to you later. Yes, I love you too. Hi. Um, do you have an appointment? Um, okay, well, you might need it. <laughs> I, I, I can fit you in before the next appointment. Let me just, just make sure that I actually have the right day. Yeah, I do, it's, um. Mm. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful handbag you have. Who <laughs> says handbag anymore? Oh. Hmm. Hi, I'm I'm Catherine, and I noticed you were all alone, and I thought maybe you'd like to have some company. I'm saying she's a loner. Um, I'm, I'm stuck on a word. It's five letters and this is really hard. Those shoes. I love shoes. No. I'm not good at this. I... Drinks, dinner. Maybe if I just walk by her, she'll talk to me. You know what I so admire about you? What, <laughs> Alan? When I talk to myself, I have to pull my hair out. <laughs> oh, you do, do you? How are you? I'm great, Elizabeth. How are you doing? <laughs> too. You're the only person who calls me Elizabeth, though, and you're, that's our secret. Let's keep it. So, did you move the, uh, her? Yeah, the place is immaculate. Not a trace of trouble. It's as if nothing's happened. But, Jeanette, I gotta tell you, I'm freaked out. Jeanette, I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out, too. And I'm, I, I, I don't know how this happened. My father's seeing hookers, and now there's somebody that's dead. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I dragged no. you into this. I owe you. No, I do. No, 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 Jeanette. Look, you are my family. And this is what we do. We take care of each other. But baby girl, how did you get yourself into this mess? I don't know. I don't know. He called me. I went over there. You know, I wanted to leave. I wanted to get out of there. And the next day, he just... He told me that I was going to help him, Jamie. He told me, and he was right. Maybe he knows me better than I know myself. I have her phone and her book. You kept it. It's in my safe. Jenny, your father's name was all over it. Oh, God. God. Oh, my God. You want to know about her? No, we're just digging in deep here. I can't. No. No, listen, she wasn't from a service, so... He wasn't seeing random hookers. No. It, she only had a select group of friends, and she saw your father a lot. Jenny, she's dead. She's dead. If it's any comfort to you, her alias was Candy. 
candy cane. This is so bad. This is wrong. <laughs> Coming. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, no problem. <sighs> oh, wow. One of the most remarkable books of our time. Easily the best political autobiography ever. You've read it? Oh, yeah, cover to cover twice. Once before I went to South Africa, and then again after I visited, I have to say, the second time around. More personal and powerful, having visited the country you lived in for sure. I spent the summer in Johannesburg no, with the Peace Corps. Oh, you're kidding. I was there once on some business. When I actually went to Robben Island and saw how Mandela lived, it made me physically ill. Sick to my stomach. Amazing. <sighs> Do you mind if I sit down and take a break? Sure. Cool, thanks. So do you travel Africa? Well, uh, yeah. I spent some time in, in Zambia. Yeah, with a village of incredible people. Quite the world traveler, huh? Yeah, well, something like that. Did you do all your Peace Corps work in Africa while you were there, or? No, no, I helped set up a vaccine clinic just outside of Bangalore. Wow. And Worked at a mission near Sao Paulo. Wow. Ever since I can remember, it's something that I knew I had to do. I can understand that. Feeling like you have to do something because you're compelled your whole life. I'm a bit of an adrenaline junkie myself, so I always have been traveling the world, just seeking out the rush, the ultimate experience, you know? Yeah. Well, you should volunteer, it's a lot safer. <laughs> than the bulls in Pamplona? Yeah. The saltwater kayaking in New Zealand? Absolutely. Any ideas on where I could volunteer? Well, um, when I'm not hanging out with my boyfriend, ah. I work <laughs> at a soup kitchen on Flowers downtown. You know, I, I volunteer there, you know, on Thursday afternoons. You should come by. All right. Maybe I will. Miss... Uh, Sammy. Sammy. Well, Miss Sammy, the world traveler, <laughs> maybe I'll see you sometime. Okay. Take care. See ya. You're here. Of course I am. I'm walking away into a new day in my life. I'm not looking back, I'm paving my path to what's right. I'll gather my faith, try hard to be brave and blameless. Lock up the nerve, take what I deserve, be shameless. Talk is cheap, just ignore.